All right, what's going on, everybody? Hope you are having a great day, um, great year. Hope everything is going really good for you in your life right now. Wanted to just share a video with you real quick. I'm often asked why did I write a book? Actually, to be honest, I've heard several uh, comments about the book. I've heard everything from um, everybody just write a book and most people don't have anything to say. I've heard uh, congratulations. Uh, I'm often asked, what is the book about? Also, why did I even write? And I wanted to just let you know that you got to do what's burning in your heart. For me, I wrote the book, The Bet, A Guide to Self-Worth, because I was tired of not betting on myself. I was tired of running from the call of God that was on my life. I was tired of living a, a mediocre life and a mediocre existence. And uh, I knew that it was time for me to step out. But in my stepping out, I didn't want to just step out alone. I wanted to help other people. I wanted to share my own personal story about being afraid to bet on me. Uh, there was a time in my life where I didn't think that I deserved the better things of life. I didn't think that I deserved to live a life of abundance. Secretly, I may have never told anyone that, but when everybody was gone, when I was alone at night, and it was just me and God. I knew that deep down, I was afraid. I was filled with feelings of unworthiness. Uh, I was filled with doubt. Um, and I knew that I had to do something different. And for me, that process didn't just start with the book. It started a probably about two years prior uh, when I decided to get my personal training certification. And for years, I was afraid to get that certification because I didn't think I was smart enough to pass the test. And as I uh, as I began to study for the course, it was very challenging because I was faced with words that I had never seen before, terminology that I was not familiar with. And uh, I went through, pressed through, and uh, I was able to pass the test and become a certified personal trainer. That was really the beginning. And so every year or every few months, I would start doing something else to begin to bet on me, to build my own confidence and my own self-worth. And so that's what the bet is all about. It's about doing what you know that God has called you to do and daring to step out on it because it's one thing to believe and it's a whole nother thing to do faith without works really is dead and so I don't know who I'm talking to uh, this is the very beginning of 2019 and for some of you it already looks like your 2018 was and you secretly don't really believe that this will be a new year. You never told anybody that. You post images saying, you know, it's a great year, 2019 and happy new year. When people tell you happy new year, you reluctantly smile and you say happy new year back. But on the inside, you know that your year is not happy. You know that when everybody else is gone, I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about when you can't front and fake anymore. When it's just you, yourself, and God. You know that you feel this this feeling of, of not enough. Like there got to be more than this. There has to be more than what you've been experiencing. So I want to double dog dare you to step out in faith. Step out against fear. Step out against doubt. Step out against feelings of unworthiness. Step out 
when you're afraid and don't even know what steps to take? Because I promise you, when you begin to step out, everything will line up, but it won't line up before you step. See, when Peter got out of the boat, the waves and storms was already, the sea was bolsterous. It wasn't flat. It wasn't easy. Um, when I first started writing the book, I had absolutely no idea how I was going to get it published. I had absolutely no idea how much it was going to cost. I didn't know the steps that I needed to take to become a published author. And some people that I would talk to gave me all different types of advice. Some of that advice was really good. And some of that advice was very limiting. And I say that because even though someone may have done what you're trying to do, it doesn't mean that their faith is on your level. So you have to be careful even in the opinions that you get from other people. I'm going to say that again. Just because somebody is doing or have done what you're trying to do, it doesn't mean that their faith is as big and as great as yours. And so don't allow those people to put their limits on what God has given you. Just because it didn't work for them or just because they didn't go all out, just because they didn't go for broke, does not mean that God is going to do the same thing for you like that. It doesn't mean that your stepping out is going to be mediocre. You might as well not even step out if you're going to have do it. You might as well not even try if you're not going to give it your all. You might as well just stay where you are and feel that overwhelming power of just not accomplishing what you know you need to accomplish if you're not going to do it all out. But if you're watching this video up to this point, I know that you are the ones that are going to step out. There's something about this video that is uh, quickening your spirit and you can connect with what I'm saying because it may seem like I'm talking directly to you. And if that's you, I am. This is your moment. This is your time. Step out with fear. It doesn't matter. Step out not knowing. It does not matter. Even if you may have failed in this thing, time in and time out, that don't matter. What matters most is that you don't lose the fight, that you don't use, lose the flame, and that you get to moving. I'm telling you, this can be your year if you will it to happen. If you trust what God has already given you. If you trust the gifts that he's already implanted in you, it's time out for waiting for some spiritual moment to, to take over you before you start the business. God has already spoken it to you. He's already given you the vision. What else are you waiting for? You can do it. Doesn't matter who hasn't done it in your family. And check this out. Your family may not even support you. Your family may not even pat you on the back. In fact, some of the things that you're going to do may cause your family to go a completely different way. I'm telling you what I know, not what I heard, not what I, I read. I'm telling you what I have actually experienced. And you know what? I still choose to step out anyway, because at the end of the day, sometimes you got to step alone. The people that are in your corner, they're just going to be there and watch. They may not have the courage to step with you. In fact, they may discourage your stepping because they are so comfortable sitting in mediocre. So it's 2019. This is your year. And I'll see you at the top. Elgin Stevens. Peace.